Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the new Taurus GX4 versus the Taurus G3C. Both of these are Palmer frame, striker fire, 9mm handguns that are subcompact in size. Many people want to know the differences, so we're going to tackle that today. Let's start with the case. The G3C comes in a cardboard case and they offer, which is a real nice touch, three 12 round magazines. That's one more than the G2C offered. So three magazines, I consider that a bonus. The GX4 comes at the time of this recording with two 11 round magazines. Both have flat base plates, both are identical. Now if you go onto their store, they offer a extended base plate for five bucks for three finger contact and they offer a 13 round magazine. Upon the launch, they offered two 11 round magazines. We'll see if that changes. The GX4 comes in a hard case, a hard padded case, and for the first time, they're offering an additional back strap on a Taurus semi-auto handgun, which is a nice touch for those with larger hands. This one's larger than the one installed. The MSRP on the G3C is 308. The MSRP on the GX4 is 392. This G3C has evolved from many different generations. Okay, it was just improved upon with each generation. This is a new design. This included much more engineering to start fresh and create a very small and lightweight subcompact handgun. That accounts, in my eyes, for the increased MSRP. And even at 392, I think it is priced well and within the bargain limits. The grip on the Taurus G3C has stippled pads throughout. It does have pretty aggressive texturing. The back strap is evenly textured with the front strap. And the larger mag with the pinky extension offers three finger contact. It has a nice grip. I certainly have no complaints with it, but I really like the GX4. This is more of a sandpaper-ish, not as aggressive. Same type of texturing on the back strap. It has more, more stippling throughout, but when you feel it, it is really nice. Now, I don't think this will irritate the skin at all, but this does offer two-finger contact. Now, I mentioned that they do have the additional base plate for, for five bucks or even the 13-round magazines, which would offer three-finger contact. But as it sits now, it's a two-finger contact handgun. The G3C has a thumb safety, all right? A lot of people prefer a thumb safety. The GX4 does not have that. And one of the questions was, do they have a model that offers a thumb safety? And at the time of this recording, they do not. We'll see what happens in the future. But right now, they only offer this handgun with a 10-round magazine and an 11 round magazine it also has a recess there to rip out the mag if you need to manually the g3c has that too a little more pronounced with the gx4 but that is an upgrade from the g2c that it does have that area to rip it out not not a major deal but that can happen and you may need to manually remove that magazine if dirt or grime gets in there and both of these pistols offer that Both of these pistols share the same sight picture, black serrated rear sights and a pinned in front dot. The rear sights are drift adjustable and they are interchangeable with Glock 43, 43X and Glock 48 night sights if that is your choice. There are options available. They also have a sight hole indicator located in the same place. You look down and see if brass is loaded and that's a change with this. The G2C had a loaded chamber indicator bar. They moved it to just a sight hole indicator, and the GX4 shares that same feature. There is no question that the Taurus G3C is a larger gun than the Taurus GX4. If we look at the slide length, you'll see that maybe a half inch difference with the slide. Here we have a 3.2 inch barrel with the G3C and a 3 inch barrel with the GX4. If we look at the grip, 
we can see that the, the GX4 looks a little thinner, maybe not, but it's pretty close. The grip length is longer with the G3C, but that may change if you throw the 13 round mag in the GX4. But, you know, they are what they are, 11 rounds and 12 rounds. The G3C has an accessory rail, so if you are into lights, lasers, or anything on the dust cover, you can have that with the G3C. Not so much with the GX4, doesn't have a rail on there, but what it does have are front serrations, which is a nice touch for the press checks. The G3C also has front serrations. That is an upgrade with this over the G2C. This has front serrations for the press checks as well. Here we have an unloaded Taurus G3C and it's weighing in at 21 and 7 8 ounces. We'll take the GX4 unloaded and that's weighing in at 18 and 3 quarters ounces. So we can see that there is a weight difference. This has more material. Here we have a loaded 12 round magazine weighing in at 26 and 3 quarters ounces. Here we have a loaded GX4 with 11 rounds. 23 and a quarter. Let's make it even with 12 rounds. 23 and 5 8. So approximately three and a half ounces lighter with the Taurus GX4. For CCW purposes, three and a half ounces may not mean a lot to some people, but to other people, it really does. And if you are weight sensitive, the GX4 would be a better choice for your CCW. Taurus designed the GX4 to be snag free and if you look at the slide and the frame and how they mate it's very smooth even the slide stop is rather flush to the frame and it's a good looking gun it has very nice lines to it the G3C has the thumb safety a little wider slide stop it does have the takedown levers here that aren't really in the way but for those who pocket carry the GX4 would be a better choice just because there's really nothing there to get the material in your pocket hung up on when retrieving the gun. I like the way this gun looks. <laughs> it does have a nice feel to it. Pocket carry, I wouldn't do it with the G3C. It's just it's just a little heavier, a little, little more uh, weight behind it. Uh, that's just my choice. I would holster both of these. But I know a lot of people pocket carry, and I, I think the GX4 would be a finer choice. The trigger on the G3C is single action, and it does have a trigger bar safety, but you pull till you hit that wall and a very light four pound single action trigger pull. And then the reset is rather short right there. If the round does not fire, it offers a double action restrike capability. And that's a pretty nice feature. And a lot of people asked, does the GX4 offer that? Well, let's see. Here we have a flat face trigger. It also has a serrated trigger bar safety. I am measuring a, a single action pull at five and a quarter pounds. Less travel, far less trigger travel here. But it does not offer restrike capability. So th those are the differences. I like the flat face trigger that they have here. I think they did a nice job with it. They are completely different. A rounded trigger, a flat trigger, restrike capability, no restrike capability, four pound single action, five and a quarter pound single action. But in my opinion, this one just feels a little bit nicer. So I'm giving the nod to the GX4. Both of these guns have been proven reliable. They both passed the limp wrist test. Let's take a look at that. And this time we'll start with the GX4. The slide finish on the GX4 is a gas nitride coating. It's matte black. Also matte black, a Tetrafer finish on 
the G3C. The barrel is stainless on the G3C. Over here, they have what's called a DLC coating. You can see that it is black. Makes it a little different. The look is a little different, but all in all, it's just a preference thing. For CCW purposes, I really like the size and weight of the Taurus GX4. The slide width is approximately an inch. Okay, that's what the site says. We're looking at 1.2 inches over here. So if you look at that, you can, you can see it right there that the GX4 is a little bit smaller. It accounts for the lighter weight. I like the 11 round capacity. I like the way the grip feels. The trigger's really nice. And I think they came out with a very nice handgun for a fair price. I know that a lot of people and I mean a lot of people carry the G3C, the G2C, and they do so with confidence. I hear it every day on this channel. And I, I can't blame them for that. I think this is a great gun too. But for CCW purposes, I'm taking this. I just like the option of pocket carrying, although I doubt I would do that. I, I like that 13 round mag that's offered. Definitely looking into that. But I have to say, I shoot the G3C a little bit better it's a more common platform you know i, I i've had the 709 I, i've had the pt 111 i have the g2c and now the g3c and the g3 i have those guns so for me this is a a common platform that i'm used to i actually shoot it a little bit better that's not to say that i won't shoot this better in the future i don't have a problem with this i it took a little bit of a learning curve for me this not so much um, do I think this is a better gun or this is a better gun? I don't know. You know, they're, they're both different, but they share a lot of commonalities. So it's, it's the user's choice. For CCW, though, I'm going with the GX4. For maybe range fun or whatever, I shoot this a little better at this point. So we'll see what happens. I want to know what you think. Do you think that this is worth the additional dough? And do you think this is something that you would carry? Or are you sticking with the Taurus G3C or the G2C? You just have confidence. You may like the thumb safety or the rail. Or do you go with the, the smaller and lighter pistol with that flat face trigger and the 11 or the 13 round magazine? It, you know, it's a tough choice. But I'm just happy to have them both. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.